All right, hello everyone. Thank you for watching this video. This is the 16th of February on Tuesday. So every Tuesdays and Thursdays, I focus on Ichimoku five lines or three theories uh, and give my analysis on this YouTube channel. And today's topic, especially, is about the Tenkan Sen. Tenkan Sen is one of the Ichimoku five lines, and the Tenkan Sen is the important line. Sometimes uh, Tenkan Sen is neglected because um, we tend to focus on Kumo and Kijun Sen or Chikou Span. And Tenkan Sen is usually used to analyze the market with a Kijun Sen, like Kijun Sen Cross, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen Cross, Gold Cross, Dead Cross. Uh, we tend to focus, but we can actually focus on the Tenkan Sen by itself. And that's the topic for today. So before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. This information is basically based on my experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So here is the pound JPY daily chart. And this is a nice upgrading. Oh, by the way, this video is recorded at the uh, 10.34 AM UTC time zone. So yeah, and exactly right now, the, the pound JPY is uptrending. And now we have pin bar. We have the pin bar forming. So until this is a daily chart, so until the candle closes, um, we are not sure if this is going to be a pin bar or not as a result. So now we have to wait another 11 hours for this candle to close. But um, today um, I want to talk about the Tenkan Sen bounce. So in this case, as I marked on these two areas, let me zoom in. Um, I saw there there are two Tenkan Sen bounces. Uh, one one was on this day, 26th of January was the Tenkan Sen bounce day, and also another Tenkan Sen bounce was at on the 4th of February, and now this is 16th of February, and I am expecting the retracement in the short term down to Tenkan Sen uh, today or tomorrow or sometimes this week. And the reason is because of this a bounce time cycle. So Tenkan Sen takes nine candles, nine candles higher, higher than lows, and it takes a mid price. So in this case, Tenkan Sen is over here. The blue one is called Tenkan Sen in my chart color setting, and it takes high and low and a mid price for the last nine candles. So um, if I just calculate, if I just measure the number of candles to the backwards, 9 candles, it will be this one. 1st of February. So in the 1st of February, the market low, the week low was at this price level, 142.790. And right now, week high is all the way up 147.30 area. So th this Tenkan Sen is actually exactly in the 50% level. So if I take the Fibonacci level from this down, I mean from this uh, lower part to all the way up over here, and you can see that this is exactly at 50 level. So from this, you can know that Tenkan Sen takes the previous nine candles low and high, and it plots the mid price. And so this is the basic of the Tenkan Sen, the calculation of the Tenkan Sen here. And, but today I want to talk about the bounce. So Tenkan Sen, the market has bounced off of the Tenkan Sen over here previously on this 4th of February. So if this is uptrending continuously, then I expect the market will come back to Tenkan Sen nine days afterwards from this 4th of February when it bounced over here. So 9 day afterwards is going to be exactly today. It says 9 bars. So from 4th of February, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 candle. And this is exactly today's candlestick. So and now we have pin bar. We have pin bar over here. So we have to wait until it closes, but if this becomes a pin bar in the end of this day, today, then um, I expect the market to go down to Tenkan Sen. Because 
the this uh, you know nine candles afterwards from third uh, from the fourth of February is actually today. So yeah, if today uh, if the candlestick or if the price does not touch Tenkan Sen today, then I expect it's gonna happen tomorrow or the day after. So uh, I'm expecting the retracement, and that's why um, I'm kind of stopping myself to take a trade to buy in this case. And you can see the same pattern in the past too, because over here you see another Tenkan Sen bounce on this 26th of January, and then afterwards the market went up, supported by the Tenkan Sen market went up all the way and retraced backwards exactly on this day, 4th of February. So here we also see, let's see how many candles these ones. Yeah, this is eight bars. So um, yeah, from 26th of January until 4th of February, it was eight bars from between the lows. So I expect the next low can be either today or tomorrow or somewhere close. So yeah, the Tenkan Sen bounce happens sometimes exactly in the time cycle of 9. And when you see this pattern, then ex you can expect the next retracement and the bounce. So you can expect when until when you, ha you have to wait and when you start looking for the buy chance on this Tenkan Sen bounce. So this is Ichimoku strategy and you can actually see the markets this way. So, well actually from here 26th of January to the past, um, this is not 9 candles, it was well, actually with, with the Tenkan Sen for the 4 days, and over here, b before previously, uh, th this wasn't the Tenkan Sen bounce either, I mean this was not 9 candles in between, but um, sometimes you see here, so for example here, this, on this day 23rd of December last year, the market broke the Tenkan Sen upwards and afterwards it went backwards to Tenkan Sen over here and if I can measure the number of candles after the breakout until it comes backwards to Tenkan Sen this was another 8 bars in between so um, and this is how Ichimoku Kinko Hyo lines were actually made uh, so for Tenkan Sen the market tends to come back to the Tenkan Sen uh, 9 bars afterwards in average and for Kijun Sen uh, the market can come back to the Kijun Sen in 26 days and for um, Senko Span B the market tends to come backwards to Senko Span B uh, 51 candles afterwards so and if the market does not come backwards um, come back to the Tenkan Sen after 9 candles, then we can see that that's the bullish, like overheated market. And same as Kijun Sen. If the market does not come back to the Kijun Sen after 26 candles, then we can see that that's overheated market. So, and Tenkan Sen takes the short term, and Kijun Sen shows the mid term. So, in this case, we see we have 9 candles right now after the previous bounce and now it's still going so if the market does not reach to Tenkan Sen today then that means from tomorrow it's going to be overheated market so we have to expect the retracement and same as Kijun Sen so Kijun Sen breakout was happening over here on this 23rd of December on this bullish candle uh, it broke the Kijun Sen upwards and now, up until now, it hasn't come back to the Kijun Sen yet. And up until now, it's been 38 bars. It's been 38 bars after the previous breakout. So, in average, it comes back to the Kijun Sen 26 candles afterwards. But now we have 38 bars away from the Kijun Sen. So, from this reason also, we can expect the market comes back to the Kijun Sen and bounce off. If it if it continues to be uptrending, so um, and this is actually the basic uh, way to look at the market by Ichimoku lines, and this knowledge is very important, and that's why I wanted to 
um, share this knowledge with you today. So uh, this can be effective in a daily chart, weekly chart, uh, in four hour chart too. Uh, it's effective, but if it's too lower time frames, like five or fifteen minute charts, um, this pattern is not valid. So make sure you take the daily chart first if you wanna master Ichimoku, and uh, see the market like this way. All right. So I hope you have a great, great day today. And it looks like the market is trending. The pound JPY is trending right now. And the pound USD is also the nice uptrend. And so on this one, let's see. After the breakout of the Kijun, sorry, Tenkan Sen over here, now we have 8 bars upper uptrending. After this candlestick, it's been 8 bars uptrending. So the market might come back to the Tenkan Sen on this pound USD. And also, I see some trending pairs and also Euro Pound is nice downtrending. And also Euro JPY is nice uptrending. So hopefully we can catch some trends this week and run, run some profits all together. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please press a good button before you leave. And make sure to subscribe and click the bell so that you get notified as I do these videos and lives every day. And lastly, uh, as I announced on the video uh, the other day, the GTS class, this is my hands-on teaching of my strategy, KTS. And the GTS is only up to five members, and this is for three months training course, but this is fitting soon. So if you're interested still, please uh, write me an email from the link below the description so that um, I can put you on the members list. Alright, so I will see you tomorrow's video or lives, so I will see you then. Until then, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.